Hello brothers and sisters, so I'm going to have to be careful how I word this one so this doesn't get taken down or the channel flagged again, but there's a new C variant called Arcturus, which has emerged in India, prompting compulsory mask mandates. The new variant, dubbed Arcturus, is behind a fresh surge of infections in India. The Omicron sub-variant strain is causing havoc in the country where cases have surged 13-fold in the last month. India's health ministry launched mock drills this week in an attempt to see if hospitals are prepared to deal with a possible influx of patients following the rise in cases. Wearing face coverings in public was made compulsory again for the first time in more than a year for some places. One example is the southern state of Kerala, where masks are reintroduced for elderly, pregnant women and those with underlying conditions. This week, case numbers throughout India rose by 3,122 in a single day. The Arcturus strain was first detected in late January, January and is currently being monitored by the WHO with officials noting mutations of concern. Could this be the next big thing? Um, now, the interesting thing for me is Arcturus, right, is the fourth brightest star in the sky and the brightest in the constellation of Boots. It's an orange giant, right? So, a star. It's also known as the Guardian of the Bear. The traditional name Arcturus is Latinized from the ancient Greek Arcturus and means guardian of the bear ultimately arctos bear and uros watcher or guardian now it's interesting the watchers that didn't know their place and went down to mankind and messed around them the guardians the watchers the fallen angels it's interesting that this would be named after a watcher or a fallen angel could this be their next big push not really my concern because with everything happening in the world and the convergence and everything around us, we're definitely not going to be here for round two. But they're just not playing anymore. They're in front of everyone in sight, openly, naming things after themselves too. This world is steeped in darkness and evil. Pray that more people turn to Jesus in the milliseconds that they have left. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.